Railgun, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from the show and even can spare just some change like a dollar or so, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Movix. Today we're going to be going over Railgun. Railgun is awesome, and it was initially uh, provided to the Metasploit developers. Uh, ooh, I don't even know, it's like 2009 or so. And the great thing about this thing is it's an extension onto uh, Meterpreter that allows you to directly interface with the Windows API. I think we've gone and touched about a little bit about Railgun in the past, but in this episode, we're going to dive a little deeper. So, first off, you have to have an interpreter session. You really can't do Windows API um, connectivity uh, or, or accessing without um, being on a box. On a, so, sessions dash I, and now, um, we are in Meterpreter and we've already talked about IRB, so we're going to just drop down IRB. Okay, so in IRB we can have all these fun things and we know about client, we know about that object, and then it's just Railgun. Railgun, if I can type correctly. So, after that we have um, all the methods and functionality of Railgun. So, um, the next thing that comes in line to this, and, it's, and sometimes it's kind of confusing to figure out what object has what objects attached to it, and, and so, um, but this is, is literally all of the Windows um, you, uh, DLLs. So I'm going to look at the, I want, if I want to do lock workstation, and, and um, that's the function I want to use, I'm going to look at the lock workstation function via um, the MSDN on, from Microsoft. And, it says lock workstation, no, there's no variables to add to it, so it's void, um, but it's in the user32.dll. So we're going to go back, oops, we're going to go back to our attack box and type user32. Um, and we don't have to do the .dll. The next part is important, it is case sensitive. So lock workstation. And let's go back to it, make sure we have the case sensitivity correctly. Lock workstation is correct. End our quotes. And if you could hear that, it obviously locked. So we go back over here, and there's the system that's locked. Awesome. So I type in my password to unlock it, if I remember my password, and we're back. Now, it's very funny when you go like this again, and it locks again. And if you have a, um, a shell on a friend's box, or, or uh, legally on a friend's box, um, and you create a payload that all it does is, is run Railgun lock workstation, it can be uh, loads of fun. But we want to do other things. So let's go, let's just peruse the um, other things that we can do um, inside of MSDN. So when you're in MSDN, it's, if you've ever programmed in C, this is, is, is dumb straight up forward to you. But if you haven't and you want to go through MSDN, you can um, find all of the different um, libraries and, and functions that are available to you. So in this, we're in the system administration um, um, and system shutdown functions. So we can hit exit windows. This logs off the interactive user. We see that it ha needs a D word and um, of DS reserved and U uh, init of reserved. So neither of these uh, are, are valid. We just make them zeros like it says. So if we want to log this person off, we type in IRB and go back to our function, exit windows, client.railgun.user32. Let's just make sure that we're in 32. Um, it doesn't say on this one. I'm going to assume it's, it's 32. Sure. Dot exit windows. Hit, hit enter. And it says that there is no exit window. So we look up here in this error and see what, what um, functions are put into Railgun. So while, while Railgun is the um, functionality that goes to the Windows API, not all of them are defined inside of Railgun. So if you find one that isn't defined in Railgun, it's relatively easy to put in there. So let's look real quick and see if there's an exit windows on here, EX. So it's exit windows, EX is the only option we have. So 
Let's see if we have that EX option. Go to the EX, cool. It says we need an integer for flags and a reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say reboot. So it needs a two for reboot and we want it to reboot. And then our reason is a D word. So we can say force, let's see what other values, flags. And then reason, the parameter must be a system shutdown reason. We click on the codes. We can see all of these different codes. Let's say major power outage, 60,000. All right, so let's go back and go back to exit windows, exit windows, EX. And what was our first one? A two for reboot. And our reason is the 60,000. We hit, let's go back over here to make sure we can see it. Okay. Go over there. Oh, the privilege is not held by the client. So as me as a user, I, as a standard user um, executing here, it seems that I don't have the privilege to do that. And the nice thing about Railgun, and, and this is actually a recent feature, is that it gives you the entire error message. So you don't, um, previously you had to look up each error code and find out what it was. It now includes all of those error codes um, in there for you. So I encourage you to really play with this. Um, look at all the functions that are available. I mean, we have user32. Um, if you type in kernel32 and then put blah, it'll error out saying there is no blah, but then it gives you all of the available to, um, options to you. You can copy and paste these into a search. Really easy. Find out what they are. Um, you know, the, the options are endless for this thing. It's, it's really amazing ability. Um, uh, let's try and get system time. Let's just do one last one really quick. Um, just as if um, I'm showing you this. So get system time functionality. All right, so it requires an out parameter. So it doesn't really require anything. So we're going to go back. Get system time. And it says one argument needed. So nil and PowerShell has stopped working. That means my interpreter session crashed. So that is one of the bad things about having um, direct access to the Windows API. If you call something incorrectly, it's going to kill your session. Um, so uh, I don't know if I've said this on the show before, but the number one rule of, of having sessions is two is one, one is none. So if you have one session, it's going to go away. You're going to do something that you're, it's going to break. Um, so always have to always kick yourself a second one, especially when you're doing demos on a TV show. So if you want to find where people have actually used Railgun in the past in, in different post modules, you just grep for Railgun inside of the post modules directory and you can see all kinds of Railgun usage and, and how they used it um, very easily. So open those files up and, and take it how, how they did it and, and you'll get tons of, of examples on, on the best way to use it without drop in a shell like I did. That's it for um, Railgun and, and um, tell us what you think. Uh, email at msf at hack5.org. Stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who supported the show so far and, and will continue to support the show. We I really appreciate it. Um, you can find ways to donate and get awesome Metasploit Minute swag at metasploitminute.com. Every dollar goes to making this show just for you. And I am deeply grateful for that. So until next time, I'm Mubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Button pushing. Pushing pushing. <laughs> Welcome to Metasploit Rinit. it. Rinit? Rin it. Rin it. It's a Rinit. It. We're gonna rent this. Hey there. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate all the awesome feedback and support we've received from viewers exactly like you. Well, not as cool, but you know, you get the gist. If we haven't already checked it out. You could really help if you go over to the, our Patreon and support the show directly. 
If you can't, that's cool. Simple like or subscribe goes a long way too. Either way, thanks for watching and we'll talk later, man. Take it easy.